Okay. All right, well, let's get started with our 15 minute flow. So welcome to another week of our Mental Health Awareness Month where we're on Mondays, we're doing a gentle chair flow, chair yoga flow. So my name is Sarita. I'm a certified fitness professional with Corporate Fitness Works. And I'll be leading you through this floor flow today. So all you're going to need is a chair. If you're practicing in an office space and your chair has wheels on it, I would encourage you press or drive your chair to a space that has empty wall space so you have a little bit more stability and safety. Um, again, preferably without wheels, but if that's what you're working with, just be careful and mindful of these poses. We will be standing today. So if, if you can take your chair against the wall, that's preferable, or maybe even use your desk or even maybe use your legs as a prop. You'll see as we flow that it's very easy to just use your own body as a prop for those poses. So I will move my chair around depending on what we're doing so you can see me, but your chair can stay right where it is. And we'll just start standing upright, dropping our arms out to our sides, relaxing the shoulders down from the ears. Just take a few cleansing breaths here. Nice deep inhale. Big exhale. Sighing out any worries, concerns. Just taking a moment to step away from whatever tasks we're doing. Take a few minutes for ourselves to practice mindfulness. And also just gentle and kind thoughts toward ourselves, to our body, toward others. And starting from the head, we'll work our way down. So starting very gently, dropping one ear toward the shoulder. On the inhale, returning back to neutral. Exhale, other side, ear to shoulder. Inhale back to neutral. Let's just do that a few more times. Your inhale, stretch. Exhale, returning back to center. Eyes can be open or closed. It's a little warm up through the neck. Start to alleviate some tension from sitting at our desk. Returning or finishing the round that you're on, returning back to center. Now we'll shake our head no. So inhale one direction. Exhale back to center. Inhale to the other side. Exhale back to center. So shaking our head, no, no, we're not going to worry about looking and feeling perfect. We are just here to take a few moments to take a gentle break from our task, from our work, what we're doing today and be kind with our bodies and just move and get the blood flowing. One more time in either direction. And then returning to neutral, inhale, let's look up, lift the chin toward the ceiling. Exhale, dropping chin to chest. Again, inhale, look up. Nodding our head, yes. Yes to finding joy in the movement, joy in just taking the moment for ourselves. Gentle stretches on either side of the neck. On this next exhale, drop your chin toward the chest. Breathe through this for a couple moments here for a gentle stretch in the back of the neck. And then gently returning back to an upright posture. Neck back to neutral. And then take, making our way down, taking a few shoulder rolls to the back. Lifting up, drawing the shoulders back, down, and then forward, nice smooth rotation. 
and taking it in the reverse. And then coming back to neutral spine, sit up nice and tall, warming up into the belly now. We'll inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, twist to one side as your arms float down. So moving from the torso, shoulders. So leading with the chest and shoulders, hips, knees, ankles stay square. Inhale, sweep it back up. Exhale, twist. It's just a gentle twist. Draw the belly bit button in towards the spine, using your abdominal strength to twist and turn the body. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back to center. Let's sink down into a little chair pose. So turn to the side here. Drop the hips back, bend into the knees. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sink down into a little chair. Arms can float out in front, or maybe it feels better for your shoulders to keep your hands at your heart center. Or maybe you like to keep your arms extended for a little bit more shoulder work. So creating a little bit of heat in the body, really getting the blood flowing, especially if you've been sitting for a few hours. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, sink into a little chair. And then flow back to your mountain. Take a moment here to flow through any organic movements that you like. Maybe take some ankle rolls, some circles, or maybe rock forward and back on your feet. Or maybe some hip circles. Whatever you like here, I'll give you some space to check in with your body and do whatever it needs right here. Remember to move and flow with your breath, so at your own perfect pace. I'll just be cueing on the inhale, we'll flow in one direction, on the exhale, we'll flow in the other. So not necessarily at the same exact time, but with your breath. Okay, if you're ready, coming back to stillness, and now what we're going to do is turn square to our chair. So facing the chair, standing close to it. So again, keeping your chair where it is. I mean, if you need to move around to see, that's fine, but keep it in one place. I may move mine just so you can see me and what I'm doing. <clears throat> so square your hips to your chair. Inhale, reach up and exhale, we'll fold forward, placing our hands to our chair. So we're in a forward fold variation. So from here, lifting through the arms. So not dumping our weight into our wrist, but push the chair away from the body, push your body away from the chair. Create space across your shoulders, between your shoulder blades. Press into the floor through your feet, sending energy up through the legs, hugging leg muscle to bone, gently tucking the tailbone under, drawing the belly button in. From this nice, strong posture, we'll begin our spinal balance. So on the inhale, extend one leg long. Again, hugging muscle to leg bone. On the exhale, flow back down. Inhale, other leg lifts, float. Toe is drawn in and back towards the knee. Exhale, release back to the floor. Maybe the next few rounds, you like to extend opposite arm. So right arm, left leg, return back to the floor, alternating sides. Keeping stillness in our torso, nice strong posture, abs again are engaged to protect the low back. Spine is neutral, so that means our head and our gaze is down towards the floor so that our neck is in alignment with the rest of our spine. The so leg muscles are engaged, but glutes are as well. So squeeze backside, return back to the floor. One more time on either side. Good. 
finish out your flow. Then return into the neutral. Take a big step back with both feet and take this variation on a downward facing dog. Send your hips back. Extend your arms long. Taking a few breaths here. One more deep breath in. Exhale, begin to shift the hips forward. Then we'll step one foot forward and through. It doesn't matter which one, we'll do both. So that you're in a lunge. Maybe you wanna walk that back leg a little bit further to get a little bit lower, especially if you have longer legs, you may wanna step back a little further. Bring your hands to rest right underneath your shoulder. So if they were extended out at a diagonal from that down dog, bring them right underneath so they're perpendicular to the floor. On the inhale, start to rotate towards your front leg. So if your right leg is forward, open up the right arm toward the ceiling so that you're in a little bit of a twist. And from here, we'll take a few arm circles. If this feels uncomfortable for the shoulder, maybe bring the hand to rest on the hip and just pause here for a few breaths. Again, careful to not dump into the shoulder and the wrist, push and lift away from the chair. Or again, if you're using that chair with wheels and we don't have a wall space, use your leg as a prop. Finishing the circle that you're on, take it the other way. And then on your next rotation, return back to the chair, turn your shoulders to square the front, Keep the legs where they are. We're going to open to the other side. So open the hips, rotate towards your back leg for a reverse opening right here on the other side. So for this arm, I'm just going to turn around and face so you can see if you're looking at the screen. So for this arm, instead of circles, we're just going to flow open up towards the front of the room and then open up. So on the inhale, energize through the core, float up. So you should be in a, what looks like a warrior two. On the exhale, we'll float back down. Maybe even reach. Inhale, float up. We'll do that a few times. Energize it through your core. Exhale, float down. One more time, energize. Inhale, float up. Exhale, float down. Heart will the arms down. Square the hips toward the chair once again. And then step back to your downward dog. Beautiful, take a few breaths here. Good. <clears throat> and then from your downward dog, stepping the other leg through. So whichever leg you had before towards the front, just switch into the other side. So pressing and lifting away from the chair. Taking that twist, so it's twisting towards your front leg. Open, again, using your leg as a prop if that feels better, more comfortable for the hips, for the shoulders. A little twist. Take those few circles, circle sweep. Take it the other way. And then return the chair back or your hand back to the chair, rotate to the other direction. Inhale, float up to your warrior two. Exhale, float over to your side angle. Let's float through that a few times. Inhale up, warrior two. Exhale, float over side angle. Beautiful, continue to flow and move with the breath. One more time, inhale, reach over. Exhale, lift, warrior two. And then this time, inhale, cartwheel the arms back to the chair. Start to lift the back heel, square the hips back to your chair. Step back one more time for your down dog variation. Drop the chest back towards the thighs.
One more breath here. And then when you're ready, start to gently float back up. You'll bring your chest forward, start to walk your feet in close to your chair until they're right underneath you. And then from here in this forward fold, you can start to use your legs or maybe hold onto the back of the chair. Start to work your way back up to standing, squeezing through the abs, protect the low back. Nice and slow. Last thing to come up is the head. And then returning to our strong mountain posture from where we started. Again, take an opportunity to maybe rock forward and back or roll out the ankles. Maybe take a few more shoulder rolls. Excellent. And then coming back to stillness, take a nice deep breath in, sweep the arms up overhead, and then allow the arms to float down. One more time, inhale, sweep the arms up, and this time bringing the palms to meet. Exhale, bringing the palms down gently down to your heart space. Taking just a moment here in stillness as we seal our practice. Noticing any sensations that we feel now that we've finished. You've created a lot of heat in the body, you got in the blood flowing. And then just giving yourself some gratitude for taking some time out for yourself today, for your body, for your mind, for your spirit. And give yourself that space each and every day to do so. Allow the corners of your mouth to turn up into a smile, feeling joy and appreciation for the time you just spent working and flowing. And then from here, we'll seal our practice. We'll all bow and say, Namaste. Excellent, excellent job. I hope you had a good flow, good practice and hope you will enjoy join us again next time as we continue Mental Health Awareness Month. Again, my name is Sarita. Hope to see you again next time. Take care.